Hey there friends, it's Nick and this is episode 452 of the Story Hacker podcast. Now listen, in March 2019 I was lucky enough, lucky enough to join Penny Power's first mastermind group. Now I'm dedicating this episode to Penny, Penny Power OBE and her husband Thomas Power. I actually met Thomas in the early 2000s when I was a member of Academy. Penny and Thomas built the the world's first business focused social network um, back in the early 2000s. They're both extremely skilled and experienced business people, but as importantly, more importantly, just wonderful giving human beings. And um, Penny wrote a fantastic, fantastic book, a very open book, a very vulnerable book in lots of ways. Um, very much the kind of storytelling that um, that I advise people to do. And when I read that book, I just knew that there was a connection there. And um, I agreed to join her first mastermind, to invest in the mastermind. And if you're not familiar with that idea, it's fantastically simple, but um, the value that emerges is just huge. Essentially, Penny brought together 12 entrepreneurs different disciplines, different stages of their their life, different stages of their business. She brought them together once a month to to share, really, to share the challenges, to share solutions, and also to hear from world-class experts in, in a whole wide range, a multitude of, of different fields. Now, it was originally due to be 12 months, and we'd done 10. We'd done 10 of them when COVID sort of took us out in um in whatever it was February or March this year and uh I don't think any of us would have been surprised if if Penny and Thomas had said oh we're going to do the last couple on Zoom and you know then we'll have delivered but of course that's not their way they and their their generosity and their love for the process and um their care meant that yes we did do five or six Zoom sessions um, when we couldn't meet. But then for the last two, we were back meeting together. And yesterday, as I record this, we had our final, our 12th, if you like, in-person session. And oh my goodness, what a journey it's been. And and I'm not going to name all the other, the masterminds, because it would take too long. But but you know who you are and what a fantastic, amazing impact you've had on me and my business. And one of the things is, I mean, all of this, you know, when I first met Penny, I was, I think it's true to say I was a reluctant business person. I mean, I knew I had to do something. I knew I needed to do something. I knew that writing the thrillers was, um, <laughs> it was a long term business plan if ever there was one and I'd really I'd just come to the conclusion that I needed to to sort of I needed to kick up the arse friends I needed a um yeah I needed a boot to get me going and I was intending really to to build a much more standard copywriting conversion focused sort of um yes, I can use the psychological tricks and levers for you kind of, of practice. Like, you know, like there's a, a million of them. Um, and very early on in the process, Penny said to me, she, she, she read a web page that, <laughs> that I put together and she said, it's funny this because it doesn't seem like you. It doesn't seem like you. And by then we'd spent quite a lot of time in each other's company and talking. And so much of the energy and the impetus for what um, Stories Mean Business has become and this podcast, Story Hacker, has become, has come from that group. The kind of gentle accountability of it, the challenge of it. And, you know, over the first six months or so, I was circling a lot of different ideas and knowing that I love storytelling, knowing that the skills that I developed to write the thrillers had parallels. In fact, many of them I'd used 
when I was running my agency, the 20 years in which essentially I created this story-driven business, even though I didn't have the words really to describe what that meant. And it's so much of the of the evolution of this idea has come down to that simple process. Yes, meeting once a month, people, but also the continual day-to-day -day support of, of having a group of like-minded people who, who've got your back and wish only for your success. They've got no, you know, no financial incentive to, to, to warp their desire to help. It's open, it's honest, it's straightforward. And if you have the opportunity, I mean, I would recommend anyone invest their you know their time and their money with penny and thomas and they they've um they're doing some fantastic work at different kind of price points um but if you have the opportunity to to be with a group of people who can support you as you support them on a regular basis it's so useful and it's utterly different from the kind of the transactional approach of of traditional networking. It's about something that's much, much deeper than that. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you, Penny. Thank you, Thomas, for giving, giving me and giving us this chance to be together, to work together and to grow together. You've really helped my story mean business. Thanks for listening.